this is Munich and this is the second day of the European Athletics 2022 Championships. They say you must walk before you can run and the second day started with the 35 kilometer walk which is now the longest race of the championships. And here she is, a gold medal in the women's 35k race walk. A masterclass of race walking. She's had time to celebrate throughout the race. She's had fun. The men's race was next on the schedule. And as he reaches the line on Ludwigstrasse, he comes through at uh, the line near Odeonsplatz and takes the title. He is European champion, undisputed European champion, <laughs> unchallenged on the day, frankly, from the very early stages of this 35k walk. Board of Athletics is a study of stark contrast as we go from the longest race outside the stadium in the morning session to the shortest race distance inside the stadium during the evening session, the 100 meters. Lansico, Dosso, Aschersmith, Kambunji, Nita, Lukenkemper, Svoboda and Perez. The final of the women's 100 meters. So Asher Smith from three, a decent start for her. Dosso nearly alongside. Here comes Kambunji. Asher Smith is out. Kambunji. Looking Kemper trying to chase. Oh my word! Looking Kemper with Nita also closing. From her Svoboda, the 60 meter specialist, drops back after 50 meters. There she goes. She takes a tumble, rolls over on her wrist. Well, the pain was immediately forgotten once she crossed the line. It's taken a minute or two for it to <laughs> go through the nervous system. Well, I cannot recall a women's major international championship that was split by just one one hundredth of a second between the three medalists. That's one for looking up further down the line. She just can't believe it. I think she's probably taken a sprain on the wrist. at that finish well, it was so close it was, just... it was crazy close yes I was it was really tight um, I tried to finish good but I felt the others coming maybe I lost it a little bit on the last meters but uh, overall I'm happy uh, with yeah. my silver medal okay you're, of course European silver so when you cross the line I always say that the sprinters they kind of know did you know did you, what do you think did you think you win or did you think uh, I just I knew that it was close <laughs> I knew that it was I felt the others uh, on the right side and I knew, okay, now that's, it's going to be, I don't know, it could be uh, everything between one and four. And they are away, there was some crowd noise, but it's not affected the athletes. Le Mans Marcel Jacobs and Rhys Prescott neck and neck, but it is Le Mans Marcel Jacobs pulling away the final stages. 9.95 for Le Mans Marcel Jacobs. Sarnel Hughes gave it a good go in the closing meters, but it wasn't to be. The Italian is back in shape. He's hunted him down, and on the very outside, coming through almost unheralded in lane eight, hanging on in there, blistering time. Jeremiah Razu gets third. Well, he's run a 9.90 windy, but he's never been under 10. But he went very, very close to it on this occasion as he followed the top two home. And it was a terrific performance in bronze from the young Welshman. But let's just concentrate on the first two men home. Marcel Jacobs, he's the European 100 meter champion. Fantastic race, you've been having a tough season, but you came through when it mattered. Yeah. It's not so easy my outdoor season, really difficult, really problems, really injury, but now we are here. We are the European champion, we are the gold in my neck, I'm really happy for that. Not really happy for this race because I'm not satisfied about my technique, but in the final the important is win and yes. we win and this is great. All right, your leg is pretty taped up, what's going on back there? No, it's okay, it's okay, my, now my leg is good. I'm in good shape and we try to now the relay to be the best with the relay and the next uh, part of the season. It was fun. It was fun. Um, I tried to just stay in my, my, my lane and stay focused and execute a good race. Um, I didn't get a great start but I, I held my composure 
and you know picks up every every meter that I can possibly get close up on. And um, I think I did a good job. The men's 5,000 meters was another crowd pleaser as defending champion Jacob Engebrigsen was chased to the finish line. Kripper's off the back. Kripper's going to be having to battle for the bronze with Almgrim. But it's now a battle for the gold between Ingebrigtsen and Katia. Just look at the way Katia's gritting his teeth. Ingebrigtsen, though, just changes gears so smoothly. He's just pulling ahead of Katia. He's on his way to his third European Championships gold. Ingebrigtsen defends his title. The time doesn't really matter. Just for the record, it's 13-21-13. But Jakob Ingebrigtsen, once again, is the European 5,000 metres champion. It feels amazing. Uh, a great race and also cool being a part of. You can tell by the audience, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. All right, the German crowd loves you and it's, it was great. Talk about running in Germany, what that's like. It feels amazing. Of course, uh, bring back great memories in Berlin. Uh, new race on Thursday, so I'm going to try to do my best there. Sandra Perkovic was in flying form as she was chasing a historic sixth European title. She became the first athlete to gain such a distinction. I'm so happy and pleased that I won my sixth European goal here in Munich at this beautiful stadium in front of the all German crowds and uh, similar to competition in Berlin where I, where I was fighting with also Germans. I was doing that here and uh, it's, uh, I, 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 they always came ready and they love to throw in, in front of their audience but I love to have such a good fight so I'm happy that I won, I'm happy that both Germans, uh, silver and bronze medal, was showing their personal best and season best. So that means this is a very, very strong competition. And with this, this distance, they also could reach a medal at the World Championship. Well, Titus Tentengalu came, saw, and managed to conquer the championship record on his fourth effort of the night. He put together a fantastic 8.52 meter jump in round four, the smashing the 12 year old record of the championships. On a night of great athletics, trials, and triumphs, perhaps the greatest score was in the decathlon discipline and the final event, the 1500 meters. Here comes Nicky Carroll. He feeds off the roar of the crowd. This last burst of the decathlon, all the energy from the supporters, and Nicholas Carroll, that last gear for him down this home straight, looks like it's going to be a lifetime best. Ah, oh, 410. Fantastic stuff from the German over the last two events, changing the shape of this competition. And we wait and wait for Every decathlon writes his own story and every time it's like uh, after one event you're feeling, you're feeling great, you feel uh, yeah you can, uh, you can win the, uh, the decathlon and then there comes the next event and you're feeling completely down and uh, think you're, you're losing it all and uh, but in the end, it, uh, yeah. in, the end. Oh, in the end it, it always uh, yeah, comes together nicely and yeah. That's not all, but that's all we have time for. See you tomorrow.